this could become a defining interior. This could really become a home that other houses are measured to. This is not like any other house in Orange County. The materials are authentically Northern Italian, but there are clues that something else is going on, giving the house a little bit of a modern edge and celebrate the sort of contrast between old and new. Each level has its own sense of function, starting right down in the basement where we've got the spa and the wellness center. It has a sense of sanctuary. So the colors, the tones down there are much darker, much cooler. The entire lower level is in both supports. This wonderful, wonderful green stone that has this magnificent sparkle to it. And as we come up through the house onto the lower level, the recreation level, it's the media lounge, it's the wine tasting, it's the bar lounge, and also the car showroom. We have the sense of that tones are warming and we're introducing a Italian limestone called Pietra Passantina, which has got this beautiful gray hue with this very fine, elegant white line that runs through the stone, almost traversing the surface. So now we've come up from this very cool subterranean space into one with a little bit more light. The tones are getting warmer. We've now got the reflection of light and water and we meet the big beautiful stone walls of the courtyard, which are the same stone that we've used on the outside of the building. With the transition of the bronze spiral staircase to the bridge, you come up to the light, open, airy space. The dining room is part of the family room, living room, kitchen space, but it's also cantilevered out over the courtyard. There's a sense of theater. You're in this volume space with these beautiful uplit walls floating 15 feet above this reflection pond open to the sky. And then when you turn around, you've got this magnificent view of the ocean. The upstairs is an indulgent master suite. It's become a lot more intimate. The ceiling heights are a little lower and intentionally so. This is the bedroom space. We don't want big cavernous rooms. This house is a celebration of water, starting with the bridge across the entry pond, right through to the interior atrium with its shallow, large pond, which allows the light to go down to the lower level. And then below that is the swimming pool, which is a third body of water. And then there's a fourth additional body of water, which is the swimming pool on the rear of the house. All the wood and trim millwork in the house is cortisol and walnut. The windows and doors have a bronze tint to the steel. We've intentionally used the warmer tone of the bronze together with the walnuts to counterbalance the white stone of the building and then the gray of the floor and the courts down in the basement. It's built to last. It has over 150 caissons, four foot wide. This house is virtually 50 to 70 feet of solid concrete underneath it. So this house will be here in a thousand years. There's always this element of surprise. It reveals itself to you as you go from environment to environment. The net result at the end of the day is you are in a home that's beautiful, it's interesting, it's finely curated. And there's a sense of excitement, but most importantly, it's comfortable.